This video will show you how to download and install the Sage BizVision 2012 July Tax Payroll Update. The first step in the payroll update process is to determine what version of BizVision you're running. If we start BizVision, we can see here that we have the Sage BizVision 2011. Also, I have four companies on the list. It is recommended to back up each company before installing the payroll update. Let's log into BizVision to determine the exact version. We can click on our help and about Sage BizVision. We can see here we have the version 2011 7.52a. If we click on system info, we can see here that we have the January 2000 and 12 payroll tax tables installed. Let's hit OK. OK again. And we must completely exit Business Vision in order to install the July 2012 payroll tax update. Let's exit Business Vision and hit OK. Now that we've exited Business Vision and determined the version we're using, let's go to the customer portal located at https colon forward slash forward slash customers dot sage north america dot com. Please note that it is recommended to use Internet Explorer 7 or Internet Explorer 8 or 9 with compatibility view. The easiest way is to click on tools, compatibility view settings, and enable display all websites in compatibility view. Click on close. It's a good idea after that to close down all web browsers, start it back up again, go to the website https colon customers.sagenorthamerica.com, click on the logon button on the top right, and enter your username and password. If you need to, there is an option on the right to sign up for a portal account. You can also click on help logging on. And there's an area at the bottom on how do I contact Sage for assistance with the customer portal. We can close and there's an also an option if you forgot your password to click on this option here. Enter your unique username and password. I'll click on log on. And I'm presented with the customer portal. When you first sign into the customer portal, you may get a message saying, Do you wish to display only secure content? Click on no to that question. Once we're in the portal, click on our knowledge base, download files. If you do not see Sage Business Vision on the product list, click on the down arrow for select solution. Click on accounting. Click on Sage Business Vision Accounting. And you see on the left hand side, there's product updates and tax updates. We want to click on tax updates current update. You'll see here, under the Canadian payroll tax updates, we have the 7.53 and we have the 7.46. The 7.46 payroll tax update is used on Sage Bizvision 7.40 up to 7.45. In the early example, you saw the computer having 7.52a as the Sage Bizvision version. In this case, I will download and install the 7.53. Since I have 7.52a and wish to update my July 2012 tax update. I'll click on the 7.53. Once I click on that, 
a security warning will show. Do I want to run or save this file? I will click on save and I'll save this file to my desktop or if it's a multi-user environment I can save this to my server or network drive which can be accessed from all machines. Let's click on save and wait for this to download. Once the download is complete I can close and I can log off the customer portal. I'll close the web browser. And the payroll update is now on my desktop. I will access and extract the payroll update by double clicking on it. A 7-zip self-extracting archive will appear and will prompt you to extract the file. In this case, we can extract it to the user's John K desktop or we can specify a network drive which can be accessed by all workstations. In this case, I'm going to install it and extract it on my local hard drive. Let's click Extract and we'll see here that after the extraction process we have a README and the payroll 7.53 executable. Let's double click on the README PDF first and we can see the instructions on the payroll update. The README.pdf will go through how to update your payroll tax tables, specifying making a complete backup of all data files. It's also a good idea to actually test the backup before implementing the payroll update. Note this update must be performed on all workstations running Business Vision. There is no TD1 revision to be done and changes reflected in the July 2012 payroll update. And for more information, you can go to http colon forward slash forward slash www.cra hyphen arc dot gc dot ca. Please go through the frequently asked questions regarding payroll section. Once we have read this and understood it, we'll close the README file. And once a backup has been performed and tested, we will make sure that we exit Business Vision first and we'll double click on the payroll v7.53 executable. We double click, let's click on yes to this message and the payroll installation wizard will go through. Let's click on next and says it's about to make changes to our business vision 2011. Let's click on yes if we're ready and it installs the update. Let's wait till it's finished. Let's click OK and it is a good idea to reboot the machine. You can either reboot now or reboot later. Let's reboot later and click on finish. Once we've completed the installation procedure, we can start BizVision and log in. Once we log in, we can click on our help and about Sage BizVision and we'll see here that we have the 7.53 version installed. We can click underneath system info and verify we have the July 2012 tax update installed. Please note that the 7.53 July 2012 tax update contains all patches and updates for the 7.50 series. Likewise, the 7.46 payroll update also contains all patches and updates for the 7.40 series. Also note that the July 2012 7.46 payroll update will be the last payroll update for the 7.40 series which is Disvision 
2010. It is recommended that you upgrade to the version 7.5 or the 2011 Sage Biz Vision version in order to obtain the January 2013 payroll tax update.